Hey y'all, welcome back to Illinois Honeycomb Homestead. And so today I just want to show you about the peas that I have harvested the other day. Excuse me, the other day. And I took them and I washed them and I got them strained out. So I'm getting ready to put them in these bags and I'm going to explain these bags to you. So just in case you don't know anything about these bags, I'm going to let you know about them. So stay tuned. Here you see I got the remaining leftover and I'm getting ready to stick them off in these bags. I don't wash them, let them strain and I'm putting them inside this bag that I have over here. And, um, and um, we're going to talk about these bags. So that way, if you're interested in getting these bags, um, these bags right here, stay tuned. Okay, family, so you see this bag here. It's called the Simple Life. These bags are on Amazon, okay? They snap like a Ziploc bag. Only thing is, it's not a Ziploc bag. It's a good storage bag. It's a, a long, sto long storage, you know, type bag for your fruits, vegetables, and all that. They come in all different sizes. I have an extra large bag, but they come in extra large, um, extra large, small, medium. They come in all sizes. If you are going to the store getting Ziploc bags, and you know for so long Ziploc bags will end up tearing or getting freezer burn and so forth and so on, these bags, you don't have to worry about it getting freezer burned or anything, and then you have a long um, term storage inside your freezer with these bags. So if you're gardening or if you got just vegetables uh, and you want to take them out of the regular bags that are in the grocery store and transport them over into these bags, these bags are really good. Really good. Um, I learned about these bags from Renee's Garden. Um, if y'all know who Renee's Garden is, check her out. Uh, she's the lady that's got the pose yeah that's her so check her out and she has done a whole um what you call it review on these you can get some more at walmart okay and they're and they're not as thick as these as you can see these are uh a thick plastic they're not as thick as the ones that you see at walmart okay uh the ones at walmart are like 5.99 i believe and you can get them in all different sizes there too. And these that are from Amazon, they're running like $12.99 for a five or six pack of those. But it's worth the money if you want to have long-term storage for your food. Now, if it's just short-term, you know, where you're just putting the little things in there and you know you're going to go back to them and it's not going to take as long for you to finish it out, then the ones from Walmart that I have are good now if you want to just purchase some that are just small medium size still for long terms you can get them in all different sizes like that if you're on a budget you can get the ones from walmart just remember that these are not as long you know don't last as long as far as long term like these because those are a little bit thinner versus the ones that i got from amazon and like i said i learned this from uh, Renee's garden because she was doing a um, you know update and uh, thing on this so um, that way in a review so she can pretty much tell you more so uh, how these are working so I was like you know I need something for long term I'm going to be gardening I'm going to be storing stuff I don't need nothing you know getting freezer burn I don't need nothing to be uh, you know ruining I need something that's going to be that long term. So I went on and just and got some. And I'm going to be getting more. I'm going to be getting more because I want to be having a whole lot of food. So she did a whole series on She did a series on that. And I figured, you know, I'll come and show y'all as well. So I'm going to take these peas that I harvested. And the more peas I get, I'm going to be able to fill this whole bag up. That's the plan. I want to fill this up with my peas. And um, that way I can have me a good stock of those peas. So I'm going to put these in the freezer. If you look back on the video I had when I harvest these, 
those um, that I had in there that I had did them already, they were uh, they were already getting frozen. It don't take long for them to freeze, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to put these back up in there along with the others that I was able to harvest as well. Finished it, you know, I did the rest of them because I did half of them and put them up in the freezer. And I just wanted y'all to get a kind of like a snippet look on how good they freeze in the last in this last video. And so I went on and just brought them in and I washed them. And there it is. All of them are in here. And I'm putting them on up in the freezer so that way you can see it. And now we'll come back uh, when I get this bag filled and give you an update that way. So that way you can see how long, you know what I'm saying, um, I've had them up in there. And, and show you the freshness in it. So that's pretty much all I wanted to come on here and to show you today. And y'all have a great day and grow your food so you can put it up in the freezer as well free free all right now see you later bye